Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica present... Mr. District Attorney, Champion of the People, Defender of Truth, Guardian of our Fundamental Rights to Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness. Mr. District Attorney is brought to you by Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica. Ipana for the smile of beauty. Sal Hepatica for the smile of health. Ipana, Sal Hepatica. And it shall be my duty as district attorney not only to prosecute to the limit of the law all persons accused of crimes perpetrated within this county, but to defend with equal vigor the rights and privileges of all its citizens. Tonight's case of the sinister cinema, ladies and gentlemen, concerns a master criminal, a man whose knowledge of his fellow man is keen and penetrating. We can almost say that Richard C. Graves has based his astounding crime solely on his understanding that men are vain, and therein lies the tragedy of his success. We begin in the private office of the president of a small bank here in our city. Well, that's my proposition, Mr. Claypool. How does it strike you? Why, I, I hardly know what to say, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Graves. Richard Seagraves Productions. Oh, yes, yes, I know. Uh, you're from Hollywood, you say, sir? Well, I've produced most of my pictures in Hollywood, Mr. Claypool. That's true. You've seen them, of course. Gone with the Storm, Valley of Wind. Oh, of course. A cigar, Mr. Seagraves? Oh, yes, thank you. But as I said, Claypool, the tendency these days is to shoot on location. As I was telling the boys at the Academy Award dinner just recently... We've got to get out and photograph the real thing. Oh, the Academy Award, eh? Oh, Ronald Coleman and, uh, who was it my wife was... Oh, yes, Loretta Young. Yes, yes, yes. dear Loretta. Daryl, I said, you and L.B. and the rest of us, we've got to go out and photograph real people. Ah, and you want to use my bank, Mr. Seagraves? Uh, just for one shot, Mr. Claypool, but what a shot. Think of it. Think of the Radio City Music Hall in New York. Yes? <laughs> Those dancing girls, you mean? We open up in a bank. Not a Hollywood bank, A.B. A real bank. This one. And who do we see? Whose face do these millions of people look at? An actor's? No. Oh, uh, mine? The face of a banker. A.B. Claypool. Honesty, courage, the backbone of America. Your face. Well, I must say, I... <clears throat> of course, this is irregular, Mr. Seagraves, highly irregular. We have a business to run, you know. You hit it right on the head there, A.B., and that's exactly what we want, to see your business in action. Why, we won't change a thing. Your customers won't even know we're shooting the picture. They won't? Realism, A.B. Realism, it's the coming thing. You'll come out of your office, greet our star, just as if you were another customer, and we grind away. Oh, your star, did you say? Well, let's not let this get out, A.B. Variety and Billboard have spies, you know. Oh, they have? Yes, it's Dolly Eads. Dolly Eads? I, I don't think I recall oh, having... Oh, what an actress. What a personality, A.B. And when the cameras start rolling here in the bank, when Dolly turns that smile on A.B. Claypool, man, oh, man. <laughs> well, I, I did a little acting back in college, come to think of it. Uh, Rutgers, 1919. Oh, that's wonderful, A.B., wonderful. It's all set, then. We'll do this shot this afternoon. But this huh? afternoon? Don't you worry about a thing, A.B. We'll be in here shooting before you know it. When did this report come in, Miss Miller? The one from Battle Creek, Chief? Yes. This morning. Well, this is really amazing. Oh. I'd hardly believe it possible. Yeah, I want you. Oh, this will interest you, Harrington. Yeah? Uh, didn't you say not so long ago that there are no new tricks in the book? He did. Yeah, certainly I did, Miss Miller. Mm. Well, look at that bum I put in the lineup this morning. Pulling the old gypsy handkerchief gag. What? That's one of the oldest in the game. Well, this report from Michigan isn't an old one. Yeah? Why, it's absolutely astounding. Well, what is the gag, Chief? Uh, bank robbery, actually. Huh? Only the bank hardly knows it's been robbed. What? Well, according to this report, this gang goes to the bank ahead of time and arranges to shoot a movie. Uh, arranges to do what? Yeah, yes, that's what it says here. <laughs> they convince the banking people that they're going to do a shot for a motion picture. <laughs> 
I don't get it, Chief. Well, then they return a few hours later, set up a camera, and photograph what the bank thinks is a scene. Oh, and it ain't. <laughs> Decidedly not. In Battle Creek, they got away with $60,000. What? Oh, Chief, yes. you're kidding. Oh, it's, it's all here. Oh, and it's done with imagination, apparently. Well, uh... Cards printed with impressive Hollywood addresses, a producer with a cigar, oh, everything. Oh, honestly. The camera equipment, of course. The works. <laughs> Shot for a movie? Yeah. Well, Chief, now I've heard everything. Say, I don't think we ought to treat this lightly. Yeah, uh, Miss Miller. Uh, yes, sir. Call the banking association here in the city, will you? Ask them if they have any way of notifying their banks about this. Right away, Chief. And if they haven't, we'll do it ourselves. All right. Yeah, any idea where these boys were headed, Chief? Well, the Battle Creek report doesn't say, Harrington. However, I think we'd better check up on that, too. Yeah, right. A movie. <laughs> <laughs> Chief, well, that's the darndest thing I ever heard of. Uh, it was beautiful, Georgiana, if I do say so myself. He swallowed everything, Dick? Complete. He even thinks he's seen you in the movies, darling. What's so unusual about that? I got a nice figure. That's beside the point. What do you mean, beside the point? I got a peel. Haven't I, Richie? Uh, later, Dolly. Georgia and I, and I have to plan things. What time, Dick? Uh, two o'clock, I thought. I left his office at 11. Two o'clock? Oh, gee, it's noon now. Oh, I'd better get made up. In a moment, Dolly. That's two hours, Dick. I wonder if it's too long a time. He won't call anybody, Georgia. Not A.B. Claypool. Who? Your leading man, Dolly. He's probably in front of a mirror right now, rehearsing. I still don't like too much time between your visit and the fireworks, Dick. Gives them time to think. Time to get suspicious, uh, maybe. Relax, Georgiana. This one is a cinch. Well, everything's ready, at least. Now, how about the camera? I told them we'd use a small, cruel, the intimate touch, you know. No, I got the camera. How about you? Uh, me? Come to, will you? Do you have your makeup? Who's telling whom to come to, m uh, to may I ask? Oh. Dolly, Dolly, you've got to cooperate. Georgiana asked you a question. My figure beside the point. Sure, I've got makeup, just like Battle Creek. All right, I'll do your face. Get a towel. I can do it myself. Do what Georgiana says, Dolly. I can do what I said. What am I supposed to be? A movie star, dear. A rich young thing making a deposit in a bank, remember? She won't. I will, too. Oh, Richie. Uh, I'll run along, Dolly. You like my figure, don't you, Richie? Uh... You're sweet, Dolly. Now run along and get made up. Well, at least I don't look like... like... Like what? Like the broadside of a barn. Well, you brainless little tramp! What... You mustn't mind, Dolly, Georgiana, please. I don't. After all, we do need her. The squares could think she's a movie star. I know, Dick. Shall we go on with the plans now? If she gets on your nerves, just let me know. That won't be necessary, Dick. If the time comes, I can handle Dolly in my own way. If the time comes, Georgiana, and I'll get you. When you begin to confuse my figure with her brain. It's a quarter after 12, Chief. You have a luncheon appointment at 1. Oh, yes, I know, Miss Patterson. Thank you. Oh, and I call the Banking Association. They were just as amazed as you were. Oh, on that Battle Creek matter. Mm -hmm. What did they say? Oh, they never heard anything like it, Chief. Mm. They're putting out a bulletin on it. Good. Oh. Yes, come in, Harrington. Uh, come in. Yeah. I've been doing some telephoning, Chief. Yes? Among other places, Battle Creek. Oh. Yeah, you were right when you said we shouldn't take this bank thing lightly. Mm -hmm. I found out a lot more about that outfit. Fine. What do you have? Well, in the first place, I got a pretty good description on three of them, Chief. Mm -hmm. A man and two dames. Mm -hmm. One of the women pretends to be a movie star. Well, how can she do that? Yeah. What'd you say, Miss Miller? How can you pretend to be a star, Harrington? Either you are one, everybody knows you, or you're not. Okay, so she pretends to be a new star, then. Or a foreign one, Miss Miller. How do I know? I, I thought you said you checked. I did. Well, all right, go on, Harrington. Anything else? Yeah, but these interruptions, yeah. Chief, they're confused. Mm. Plenty, well, Chief. Under descriptions, yet. Yeah. One of these dames is very, very pretty. Yes, yes. Yeah, the other one sounds like a lady wrestler. Yes, and? Here's the payoff, Chief. Mm -hmm. They're almost sure this gang was headed this way. What? Yeah, I can trace them up to three days ago, and then we lose them, Chief. Mm. And when we lost them, 
they were on their way here. I see. Uh, Miss Miller... Yes, Chief. Of uh, course, that, that don't mean they are here, Chief. No, I asked around a little since this morning. They ain't checked in with the boys around town. Yes, I know, but we can't afford to take a chance. Uh, Miss Miller, call the banking association back, will you? And tell them we'll notify the member banks from here. All right, I'll get their list. Fine. What'll you do, Chief? Send a letter on it? Oh, we'll do better, I think. Uh, tell the mimeograph room to stand by, please, Miss Miller. Okay. And call the motor pool downstairs. We'll need eight or ten motorcycle messengers. Right away, Chief. We'll just put the whole story in a bulletin, Harrington, and send it around to the banks right now. <laughs> Mr. Seagraves, right on time, I see. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Oh, not at all, A.B. We were uh, just getting the cameras set up. Oh, oh uh, A.B., may I present our little leading lady, Miss Dolly Eve. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, Miss Eves, this is a pleasure, a great pleasure. Likewise. Oh, pardon my makeup. A.B., I see you change your suit. Hmm? What? Uh, oh, my suit. Well, yes. <laughs> I was home for lunch, and Martha, my wife, she... You like it? Fine, A.B., just fine. All set up, Mr. Seagraves. Oh, excuse me. Uh, ready, Georgiana. Yeah, I must say, I'm somewhat at sea, Mr. Seagraves. Is, is this all there is to it? Just one camera? Well, just the one by the door, A.B., but what a camera. In the hands of Georgiana Heron, it's sheer poetry. You've uh, seen her name, I know. Oh, yes, yes, I believe I have. My goodness, I expected lights and all sorts of things. Uh, we cleared a space, Mr. Seagraves. Uh, not necessary at all, A.B. Realism, you know, realism. All set, Miss Eves? Oh, Sure. You've uh, notified the tellers and everyone just to go on about their regular duties, A.B.? Yes, I have, Mr. Seagraves. Oh, I've been busy, I can assure you. Why, I haven't even read my mail. Well, we won't take long. You've got the sequence, Miss Eats. I think so, Mr. Seagraves. I go up to this nice gentleman here, say my lines, and he escorts me behind the little cage. Uh, uh, behind the cage? Uh, just show our money, A.B., pick up a handful of it, and just show it to Miss Eats. Oh, it's in the script. Script. We won't bother with the lines, A.B. We dub them in back on the coast, you understand. You just make with your mouth like you were talking with me. Uh, I see. Ready, Mrs. Seagrave? Oh, I'll just get out of the way, then. All set, A.B.? Miss Eads? Roll them. Yes, I, I think I'm quite ready. Everything okay? Like candy for my baby. Now, just act natural, everybody. All right, Miss Eads? We're rolling. Don't turn your back to the door, Dick. I'm all right. All right, Miss Eads. Your lines, please. We want this realistic, you know. Why, why, I'd just love to see all that money, Mr. Claypool. Oh, oh, back here, behind this tiny little cage. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Now, take her arm, if you will, A.B. Yes, that's fine. There they go, Georgia. Wait till he gets that cage open. Yeah, I know. That's right, A.B. Now, let Miss Eads go in ahead of you, please. If she doesn't stand in front of that alarm, I'll murder her. Well, I, I don't know what to say. Should I just move my lips... Oh, it's terrific. It's sensational, A.B. It's sensational. We're getting every expression. Now, where's the bag? Right here. Go on. Now, please don't stare at the camera, folks. It's just a movie. Ah, oh, that's fine, A.B. That's fine. Little smile, Miss Eads, please. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to enjoy this. Oh, it couldn't be better. Now, please don't crowd near us, folks. It's just a movie. That's right. Go on about your business. All right, Dolly. Let's put the dough in the bag. Oh, did, uh, you mustn't touch the money, Mr. Seagraves. No, no, really. Get it, Georgiana. Now, don't miss his eyes. All right. Come on, hurry it up, darling. I am, Richie. Give me a chance. Oh, now, see here, Seagraves. I asked you not to touch the money. That's real. Now, ah, careful, A.B. Keep your profile to the camera. All set, doll. That's all of it, Richie. Yeah, where are you going with that? Stop, I'd say. Uh, Mr. Seagraves. Perfect, A.B. Perfect. Sensational. Did you catch all that, Georgiana? I'm Stop, I say. What's the meaning of this? Come on, Dolly, move. Relax, folks. It's only a movie. Let's get out of here. Right with you, baby. Now, I warned you, Seagraves. Picture or not, I'm going. I'm, I'm setting off that alarm. Get away from me, you big guy. Help! Bird. Help! Stop them! Shut up. Somebody stop them! It's just a scene in a picture, friend. All right, Mr. Seagraves, let's have the shot but now. This is unheard of. Get out of my way. I told you, A.B. Shut up. Richie, look out. Sorry, A.B., but I said this has got to be real. <laughs> I'm shot. I, help me. I... Gee. Perfect, A.B. Just perfect. All set, George. Anna. All set. Now keep them rolling. Wonderful, A.B. Keep it up. Come on, doll. Stay in front of the camera now. Now back, George. Anna. Take it straight back. Let's go. Out the door, doll. Folks, please don't watch the camera. You'll spoil the scene. Hold the door. I am. Is George Anna in the car? She's waiting. Okay, then. 
Great work, folks. That was fine. Fine, A.B. One of the best acting jobs I've seen in years. Come on, Dolly. Let's go. In just a few moments, we will pick up the developments of this interesting case. But first, here's an important question. Tell me, who should know best the difference between toothpaste? Who should know best the difference between toothpastes? Why, the dentist, of course. He knows best because his life work is the health of your gums and the care of your teeth. So listen, please, to this sound advice. Ask your dentist about Ipana toothpaste and gentle gum massage. So many dentists recommend massage. Yes, and a nationwide survey shows more dentists recommend Ipana toothpaste than any other dentifrice. And wait a moment. More dentists personally use Ipana than any other toothpaste. Yes, Ipana toothpaste followed by gentle gum massage is the modern way to aid the health of your gums and the brilliance of your smile. So help your dentist help you. He knows the value of gentle gum massage to tone up your gums. Begin now getting your new Ipana smile. Taste the freshness, feel the cleanness, see the sparkle. Get Ipana toothpaste for your Ipana smile. And now back to Mr. District Attorney. Let's get organized, Harrington. Yeah. Everyone's here? Yes, sir. The bank employees are all downstairs in the meeting room, yes, Thank you, Miss Miller. We yeah. want all of them. Okay. Boy, that's irony, or whatever you call it, Chief. Your message about the Battle Creek job is on this Claypool's desk. Yes, I saw it. Hmm. Unopened. His secretary said he was so excited about appearing in the picture, he didn't do anything else. In a movie. Well, it's our Michigan gang, all right, Chief. There's no doubt about that. Yes. Hey, what's this, Harrington? What? What do you got, Chief? Here, it looks like... Broken glass here on the floor. Huh? Oh, Chief, excuse me. Uh, here's Ray. Oh, good. I want photographs and diagrams, Miss Miller. Well, this one shouldn't be too tough, Chief. Mm. We got a whole bank full of witnesses. They all thought when this Seagrave shot, it was part of a scene. Yes, I know. Uh, what's the loss, Harrington? Are they through checking? Well, it'll run about 35 grand, Chief. Mm. Claypool used the main cage. Yes. You know, it's the audacity of this thing that gets me. Hmm. One man and two women, and they pull this off without a hitch. Oh, it's tricky, all right, Chief. Hmm. Yeah, but maybe we can show them a few tricks of our own. And the district attorney issued a similar bulletin to all banking institutions in the county. I don't get it. So what? We got the dough. Well, Georgiana means, Dolly, that we can't pull it off again. At least not around here. I figured on that. But this stinking paper is a new syndicate. That'll queer the act in every town in the country. Uh, it'll blow over, Georgiana. We could just lie around and take it easy for a while. I'd like that. On what? We need money, Dick. Money? Well, we just got nearly 40 grand from that one bank alone. Georgiana means good money, though. We can't pass the bank stuff until the heat blows over. If we picked a town small enough, maybe we could pull it off again. Someplace where they don't read the papers. The same thing, Georgiana? Just about. I'll have to get another part for the front of the camera. I lost it. What for? You don't really take pictures, do you? Georgiana means that the camera has to look real, doll. I'll take a look at the map. Maybe there's a small town we can hit. Well, I say we don't. You what? We got all the money, and I say spend it. I'm sick of working. Spend it? Are you crazy? Georgiana just explained, all. You can't spend money if the bank has a record of the bills. I don't care. You promised, Richie. You said we could just lie around and have fun. That is also beside the point. You stay out of this. I think it's wrong anyway, I didn't know you were going to kill people. Doll, now listen, just... Never a mind, Dick. As I remarked before, I'll handle things when the time comes. Time? What time? Soon, I think. I promise you, Dolly, I'll let you know. A 
Will you switch off that light, please, Miss Miller? I want Harrington to see this. Hmm? Yes, sir. What, in the microscope, Chief? Yes, that's right. It's that broken glass I found on the floor of the bank. Hmm. Hmm. I see it, Chief. Hmm. Now, what's that mean? Well, I'm not quite sure. Uh, did you send for Ray, Miss Miller? Yes, I did. He's on uh, the way up from the photo lab now. Hmm. What's up, Chief? Something in Ray's pictures? Well, no, no. As a matter of fact, I, I simply want his opinion on something. Uh, all right. The lights, please, Miss Miller. Okay. Hmm. As you know, broken glass is always interesting. Each piece seems to have a personality all its own. Yeah, sure, Chief, but... Well, that ain't finding sea graves, Chief. No. You put out the alert? Yeah, right away. I made it a full five states. Good. Oh, and the bills from the bank? Well, they had a pretty complete list of the numbers, Chief. Oh, well, that's a break. Uh, put it out on a full distribution, Miss Miller. Stores, depots, bus stations, everywhere. Okay, it's being prepared down in Mimeo now. Fine. Well, we'll just keep at this, Harrington. One way or another, we've got to bring that trio in. <laughs> can't see the point in arguing about it, Dick. It's a matter of common sense. But we might need her, Georgiana. You said yourself you've got a small town picked out. I know that. We'll leave as soon as the part for the camera is ready. Then let's take her with us. I said no. Oh, but she's a nice kid, Georgiana. You should have seen that guy in the bank give her the once over. She softens him up. If necessary, I can play the actress. You? Yes, me. The choice is quite clear, Dick. The girl is blood-shy. Well, I guess you know best, Georgiana. You always do. My dear boy, the woods are full of fancy figures. Yeah, <laughs> so are banks. Only if we could just bring... I a... told you. All right? Yeah, sure. Sure, if you say so. Call her. Now? Now. Okay, okay, sure. Hey, Dolly. Come on in here a minute. Stand back, Dick. I don't even get a chance to talk to her. What then. for? She's hardly intellectual. Dolly! I'm coming. Well, what are you... Hey! Hey, Richie, stop it. She's got a gun. I told you, young lady, I'd let you know when it's time. Well, it's time! <laughs> it's high time. You know something? What? She did have a beautiful figure. I tell you, it's definite, Chief. Mm -hmm. They found the dame about three hours ago. Are you certain, Harrington, uh, sure it's the one who posed as an actress? It's a positive identification, Chief. Mm -hmm. Four employees from the bank... Just saw her in the morgue. I see. And she was shot, you said? I see. She was clean as a whistle. Well, all right. Let's get to work. Uh, tell Dr. Colgan I want the slug. He's working on it now, Chief. Uh, when he gets it, set up a comparison check with the slug from Claypool's body. All right. Oh, Chief. Yes, Miss Miller, what is it? Ray's on the phone, Chief. Yes. He says he's located just what you want. What? Ray, Chief? Uh-huh. Our photographer? Uh, definitely, Harrington. Get the address, Miss Miller, and tell him to stay there. Right. Uh, bring that comparison microscope, Harrington. Uh -huh. We'll need it. All set? I've got it, Chief. All right. Let's hope this is it, then. Come on. Let's go. It's a small town, Dick. Don't forget that when you talk to the banker. Tomorrow morning, huh, Georgiana? Sooner the better. Anyway, I think it's wise to get out of this town. Mm, you mean Dolly? For one, yes. As soon as we can pack, we'll get going. Uh, what about the camera? Oh, I picked up the part this morning. Well, who's that? One of Jerry's boys, I think. I asked him to drop around. Here? Yeah, what for? We need a third, Dick. I thought I'd offer a 20% split on a one-shot. Okay, then. Uh, come in. Yeah? You're from Jerry's? Not quite, lady. This is the district attorney. What? Don't move, bud. Or is the name Seagraves? All set up, chief. Oh, thank you, Harrington. Well, this makes it easy, doesn't it? Easy? What are you talking about? Murder. Or to be more accurate, two murders. All right, get your coats, please. You're both under arrest. Arrest? Well, you're crazy. What for? You heard him, pal. Come on, the camera's rolling. You can play the scene right up to the hilt. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your district attorney will return in just a moment to explain the clues which led to the arrest in tonight's case. But first, first let's bend an ear to one of those early morning sounds. One that says, rise and shine. (laughs) Now, to a lot of people, that sound can mean a wonderful morning with a good day ahead. But to a lot of people, there's another sound that can mean the same thing. And that's the sparkling sound of sal hepatica in a glass of water. And remember, unlike slow-acting laxatives, a sparkling glass of sal hepatica, when you get up, brings quick, gentle relief, usually within an hour. That means you don't have to feel dull and headachy all day, waiting until night to take the laxative you needed in the morning. And if at the same time you're troubled with excess gastric acidity, let sal hepatica help sweeten your stomach. So keep a bottle of sal hepatica handy. Then any time you need a laxative... Morning, noon, or night... See how much faster you feel better thanks to gentle, speedy Sal Hepatica. And now, here is your district attorney... I'm happy to report, ladies and gentlemen, that both Richard Seagraves and Georgiana Heron will pay the full penalty demanded for the murder of A.B. Claypool and the murder of their associate, Dolly Eads. Gee, that was one of the strangest, Chief. Yes, Miss Miller, it was. But like all criminals, they made a mistake. And like all criminals, now they'll pay for their mistake. Yep, their mistake being when the dame dropped a part of that camera on the floor of the bank. Yes, Harrington. As you know, under the microscope, we were able to determine that the broken glass from the bank floor was part of a camera lens. So you had Ray check on the camera supply stores in town, isn't that right, Chief? Yes, exactly, Miss Miller. Ray assured me, you see, that not more than a dozen stores carried the kind of lens needed to replace the broken one. Fortunately, Georgiana went to one of these stores for a replacement. And that was the beginning of the end, Chief. She leaves a trail... And we follow it. Yes, and, of course, we were able to prove the gun in their possession killed both Mr. Claypool and Dolly Eads. I think I'll just pass up that screen test, Chief. Yeah, uh, what screen test, Miss Miller? What? Oh, nothing, Harrington. A girl can dream, can't she? Oh, Chief, what about next week? Well, ladies and gentlemen, again next week we see the futility of a life of crime, but in a very different and unusual way in the case of service in silver. And I invite you to join us for it. And so until then, thank you and good night. Say, mister, want some good shaving advice? Forget your whiskers. What counts is your face. How it feels while you're shaving. How it feels and looks afterwards. And to give yourself a better feeling, better looking face, use Ingram shaving cream. You see that rich Ingram lather on your brush? Helps condition your face for the razor. Result? Cool, comfortable, soothing shaves. Just remember, comfort means coolness. Coolness means Ingram. I-N-G-R-A-M. Ingram, the cooler shaving cream. Try Ingram tomorrow. Names of all characters in tonight's dramatization are fictitious, and any resemblance to names of living persons or actual places is purely coincidental. Our stars were Jay Justin in the title role, Len Doyle as Harrington, and Vicki Vola as Miss Miller. The music was under the direction of Peter Van Steeden. The program is produced and directed by Edward A. Byron and written by Robert Shaw. Mr. District Attorney was originated by Phillips H. Lord. Remember, I pan a toothpaste for the smile of beauty, sal hepatica for the smile of health. Bristol Myers invites you to tune in again next week for Duffy's Tavern and Mr. District Attorney. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.